I testified in front of the Senate Armed Services Subcommittee on Emerging Threats and Capabilities. We are living in an age of epidemics, and we also are living in a very disordered and chaotic world where threats could emerge from natural processes, from terrorism, or from accidents. In this world, we must be more prepared for health security. I think the most important message is that with investment, we can drive actions that are pragmatic, that really can improve our overall biosecurity. The United States government has implemented some important policies relative to preparedness, but we don't really have an action agenda. So the Commission has put forward some very specific actions that we think will help drive progress in this area. These aren't nice to do things, these are national imperatives. We can appoint a national leader for biosecurity at the level of the National Security Council. We can improve the speed of our ability to respond early in the course of biosecurity threats by investing in a global health security readiness force. This would be a team of non-military experts with the variety of skills and capabilities necessary to lead a response, we need to have contingency funds so that CDC and USAID can get to the action immediately and not have to wait for congressional disbursements. I was surprised that this was the first hearing in 20 years on the topic for this particular subcommittee, but I think that speaks to the whole point of the commission report, ending the cycle of crisis and complacency. For more on my testimony and this critical issue, visit csis.org.